Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to GH Dominus. Today, I'm doing this video. to teach us how to use orbital finance. Uh, the, advice is to either, the advice is to either use your PC or to use your Kiwi browser on your mobile phone by changing to a desktop mode. So without wasting my time, let's proceed. First, we have to go to our what, Kiwi browser. Then you log into your MetaMask. You should know how to log into your MetaMask. This is my MetaMask. I'm going to use optimistic Ethereum or optimism Ethereum to do it by moving it from optimism network to what? Just case sync error minutes. Just case sync error minutes just launched some few uh, uh, days ago. So today we are going to use it. So we are bridging using orbital finance, we are bridging from what optimism network to what let's get some error minutes remember the website for orbit finance is at orbital.finance yes so as you can see i have 0 0.0334 at zero on the optimism network now let me move to the orbital finance so this is the orbital.finance uh, website orbital.finance this is the correct spelling check as I circled orbital.finance. Yes. Good. Now you, you make sure that you are on desktop mode. So how do you switch to desktop mode? You see these three dots which I just circled. Yes, click on it. Now make sure that you are on desktop mode by clicking here. Yeah. desktop site so you just click on it to check you click on it to take a box okay yeah so we're going to do it so we have switched successfully to desktop mode as this is loading just give me some few minutes to load fully load see we are fully switched to desktop mode as you can see Correct. Now, the next thing to do is to connect our wallet. Connect our wallet by clicking on connect wallet. So we just click on it. Then you select the appropriate what? You select the appropriate wallet. In this case, I have MetaMask. So before that, make sure you have MetaMask on your what? Uh, Kiwi browser or your PC or laptop. Okay. So we select what? MetaMask by clicking on connect. Okay. Good. As I click on connect, it will connect automatically for you, as you can see here. But then if it does not connect automatically, then you have to click on the three dots again here. Okay, you click on it again here. Then you select your what? MetaMask here. This one, but then you see there's one, you will see something like one in blue color beside the MetaMask logo. You click on it and you go and proceed. But of course, it's connected automatically for me. I can't show you what I was trying to see. Okay, yeah. Now, what do we do? Make sure you select the appropriate networks. You select the appropriate network by here, selecting the correct network where you have your money in, where you want to move the money from. And then you come and select where you need to, you want to move the money to. You get it. So the first one is what? We click on Arbitrum here. Then we select what? Optimism. And that is where we have the money. Okay. Then two. From is what? From is where we have money. Two is where we need to move the money to. Two is where we want the money to go. So you click on two. This one. Okay. Then you select the correct network. If you are sending to Ethereum, then you just leave it because it's here. But because you are moving to a different network, which is what? That key 
sync error minute. We just have to click on the term here and then select what dead casing error minute. Remember, we have two dead casing. One is what dead key sync light. This one, but it's not just that we want. We don't want the light. We want what the error minute. So we go down to find the error minute, which is this. We are moving toward dead casing error minute. You get it. Good. Good. So we click on what? Dead casing error. Now we are done selecting the correct networks. You get it? We are done selecting the correct networks. Okay. Good. So what do we do? In here, you type the amount of Ethereum you wish to move from dead key, optimism to dead key. Okay, you type it here. Here, you get it. But then if you want, want to move all your funds, just use what max, which is here. You click on the max. It will select the appropriate amount that you can move from your wallet to the other network. You get it. Uh -huh. So you will decide what to do. Also, are you sending Ethereum or USDT or what? If you are sending the, the, the coin or token you are sending, it, Ethereum, or it's a different network, you select it here. You select it here. You get it. Correct. So let's see what we have there. After clicking on it, we only have Ethereum. I mean, you can only move Ethereum. Good. Now, we just add the amount you wish to move. So with me, I just use max. I just use what? Max. Max. So after clicking on max, you it will load. You see it will be loading here, but now it is fully loaded. So that's it. We are done. As I it is fully loaded, you see there that sound that you can move, which is this. But then, like I said, you can still type it manually as well. You can just type it here manually. Let me do it for you to see. You see, I'm clearly written. You see, so I can just type this the amount I want to send. And you type, you get it. That's all. One. Once you see send here, once you see send here, click on it. Okay, so after doing everything, if it is not sent, but then to send and confirm, to, you have no problem. Just click on it, send and confirm, then you go and confirm. Okay, yeah. Because sometimes you see send and confirm, meaning if you click on send, you have to go and confirm. Uh, some if you just see send to the same thing so let's see maybe we can see send and confirm at the back so let's proceed so the best thing is to click on send so let's click on send let's do it together send okay, okay so after clicking on send now you see the what I was talking about. Send and confirm. It is confirm and send has appeared here. Okay. So you see, we just see confirm and send, which I was talking about. It is here. One there's some things to note. They charge you for withdrawal fee. So the withdrawal fee is what 0 0.001 Ethereum. That the identification code is what 9014. That one is for developer devs. Yeah. So you don't have to worry about it. Total amount you are sending is what this. So I was sending 0 0.03135, including the fee they are charging 0 0.001. The total amount sent was 0 0.032350. I'm going to receive 0 0.03134 here. You get it? Good. I'm sending from what? I'm sending from one wallet to the other, but the same wallet, just as I'm sending from one network to the other. So this is the first network. Sorry. Let me co correct myself here. Um, this is where I'm sending from. I'm sending to my main system, but then it will go to Orbiter's what main wallet, and they will move from their wallet to me. Then it will go to their. I'm sending. I'm sending from an optimistic network. It will go to their what optimistic wallet address. Once they receive it on their optimistic wallet address, the the funds they have on their dead casing error minute, they will push to me immediately. To my address, so they will move from the dead casing error minute to my address here again. You get it? 
Uh -huh. So that's how it is. My main wallet address is this one. Let me show you. Maybe others are confused. So let me show you. Check my address. It ends with what 1D9B. You see? And check this one. It ends with what 1D9B. You see? So once I send to the address, which is this one, they will push from this one to my address as well. Okay, it's just immediate. So now what do we do? Just click on what? Just click on send, uh, confirm and send. So we click on confirm and send. Now that you have clicked on confirm and send, we have to go and actually confirm. So we click on what? This three dot at the top here. Good. Now we scroll down. We scroll Scroll to what our metamask. You see, like as I showed us at first, you see there's a confirmation button beside the metamask. That's one. If I have multiple more confirmations, you see the number of confirmations I have would, would, would be different, maybe two or three or four or something. But I will have one confirmation to do. So uh, you see uh, the metamask logo, there's only one written at, uh, beside it. So I'll just click on it to go and proceed with the confirmation. So I'll click on metamask now to open. A different page for me to confirm okay to open a page for you to confirm it's as easy as abc it's as easy as abc so you see it has come so all that i need to do is to click on what confirm confirm that's all because i know the guys who are ready i know the, the total amount already okay so click on confirm let's do it together confirm then it will load you see so it is spending now by to send soon it is spending you see good it has sent pa i just received a message you see from my listen trust wallet i just received a message because i've imported my metamask account to trust wallet. that's why i received that to subscribe trust wallet message but then you see it has been sent all that I have on it, uh, what? All that I have now on the two is what zero point zero zero one here. You get it. Every wallet that I've imported my wallet into my MetaMask account into will send me a notification. A notification. You get it. So even I imported on zero, so zero two I sent a message. You get it. I sent from Optimism, as you can see. I sent from what? Optimism. Yes. So now it, the money should be in our dead king sync era minute. Let me switch my network from optimistic Ethereum to the casing error. So what do we do? How to switch? You click on this one, this thing you see here. Okay, optimistic Ethereum you see at the top here. You click on it. Then you select your network, the network you wish to switch to. Okay. I have already imported that casing error mainnet. If I have not imported, then go and import. Yes. So I hold the important. So I'll just click on that casing error minute. It will load. Immediately it finished loading. It will show me how much I have. You get it. So it has actually imported successfully. Done successfully. So now check my network. Now I'm not on optimism again, but I'm on that casing error mainnet. And the money I sent has been received here. You get it. Perfect. 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 This is just easy. Bridging is as easy as ABC. Yes. Good. Now let's go back and check the orbital.finance. You see, it was successful. So you see everything successfully. The transaction has been marked. Transaction has been marked from optimism to what? Just case in Kera. Completed. Date and time and value sent also show. The date was what? 2023, March 26. I sent at what? 8 37 32 seconds a.m. A value, total value I sent, including gas fees, was 0 0.032 something something here as well. You get it. If you go to history, if you go to history, you can see all your transaction history on Orbital.Finance. But it takes time to load. So, you know, I don't like them. Mm, I don't like doing my history. It takes too long to load. Uh, so, congratulations. This is how to what? Bridge. This is how to bridge from. A uh, different network like optimism and other networks like Arbitrum, it's your main network. I mean, to different different network from that case, like so many. 
All right, let's check the network that orbiter.finance support this orbiter.finance remember the website's name orbiter.finance check it well orbiter.finance you get it how to check the network they support you either click on this one or this one to see the total number of the network they support okay so let's click. click on any of them optimism here like you see to check the network they support dead case sync light polygon ethereum arbitrum arbitrum nova loopring let's continue loopring dead case space immutable x boba starkness dead case sync error you see them here you see you see them here and what bnb chain these are the network they support. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So this is all about bridging from different networks. Layer one or layer two. To other networks. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Remember, remember, to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more good videos, self-explanatory videos like this. I love you. Bye-bye.